This is a video to try and help new and old Formula V drivers keep their cars running on the track the entire race weekend. Particularly, it's about left front spindle bolts that tether the drum and the wheel to the kingpin in the event of a spindle failure, and the Maggie bar, a rear wheel protection device that prevents a driven wheel's treads from contacting the treads of another spinning wheel. I have more explanation in the video's description, so check that out. This is a video of Jason White at the 2020 June Sprints at Road America, going through turn six, and coming up here into turn seven, he is going to have a front left spindle failure right about there, and a trip into the wall. He's okay, luckily, no injuries. Um, this is an issue with the Volkswagen standard left front spindle. It has a hole all the way through it for a speedometer cable, um, making a weak point, which is bad for racing applications. Uh, but you can stick a bolt through it to tether it uh, in the event of a failure like this. Um, Garrett Van Camp hands these out at VSCDA events. Uh, Garrett's awesome. He's the 1971 national champion, um, retired engineer, still racing today. He is unbeatable in his yellow number 49. He's awesome. So my left spindle has also failed, but it is tethered by a bolt. Uh, you can see it moving around. It's really moving around. It's distracting at this point, uh, but it's still on the car. I've already kind of backed off before turn seven. Uh, I do not go into the wall, uh, but I can see the drum just kind of ripping away under load away from the backing plate, and I'm going to call it a session um, successfully. Uh, very happy to not be in the wall because uh, that spindle is completely sheared. Um, it's only the bolt holding it on the car at this point. Um, it's a 7 inch long grade 8 5 16 bolt. Uh, the head end is beveled uh, so that it can ride up against the bearing adjustment nut. The other side uh, on the kingpin is double nutted. It rides in there loose so it doesn't put pressure on the bearing. And in between sessions you can try and turn the double nutted end. If it turns freely then your spindle should be good. If it doesn't you should really check your spindle. It's I can see the drum moving away from the oh. backing plate. Oh, oh yeah, it looks loose. We'll get a, we'll get a record. Yeah, it's not the it. left nuts. No. It's either the bearing or the spindle. Yeah, I'm thinking it's the bearing. Should I stay in? You can come out. That's probably hot. It's not bad. <laughs> that looks close. sheared off. Um, it was held in by this bolt. That's what kept it on the car. Again, it's seven inches long. Uh, most of it is shouldered except for about the last inch. There's the speedometer hole. Uh, the cable goes through. Um, the failure point. And it's double nutted on the one side. You can easily check that between sessions. It's a, just a quick indicator that something has gone wrong if you can't spin that. And the head of the bolt is beveled so that it sits neatly in the bearing 
adjuster nut and under the cap. So next I want to talk about the Maggie bar. And this is a video of Gerald Black at MSR Houston. Uh, you can see he's going to uh, touch rear wheels with this 112 car and it's going to send him up in the air. That's, that's what happens when these wheels touch. Um, I think he suffered a uh, wrist injury, but other than that, he's okay, which is always good. Um, but a Maggie bar is a device uh, created by Maggie Van Camp, Garrett's wife, uh, who's also a retired engineer. In an event, in an attempt to prevent these wheel-to-wheel -wheel contacts that always send a car up in the air. Uh, so this is a video of me at Groton, where I get in the same position as the two previous cars, uh, but both cars continue on. This is 100% my fault. I get too close to the car ahead of me and need to slow down quickly going straight downhill in an off-camber corner, spin it and collect my dad, that purple car there, and both of us drive away. Um, the Maggie bar on my car is attached to my trailing arm, uh, which was bent. I had to adjust the alignment a little for the rest of the weekend, but um, certainly you'll see that at the very least we were probably going to both of us lose our valve covers. Um, probably one of us was going in the air. Um, bad for us. It, just losing oil uh, on the track was going to make a the the weekend worse for everybody racing that weekend. And you can see the Maggie bar sticking out, preventing that right rear tire there. Um, Maggie has designs for pretty much every car with a trailing arm and some adaptations for leading arm cars. In the VSCDA, 100% uh, of the cars use this device um, because of uh, the good argument Maggie makes for having them on. Uh, so I would look into getting this kind of device on your car, especially if you're in vintage. Um, there's no aerodynamic game going on here. Uh, this uh, The purple car just received cosmetic damage. Uh, this one you can see the trailing arm is bent. Um, it ended up having to be replaced. Uh, just fabricate a new one and good to go. It protected that valve cover. Um, uh, it would have pushed, had that Maggie arm bar not been in there, would have pushed the arm in into the valve cover. Uh, new Maggie bar, new trailing arm, ready to go. So the idea behind this video is to try and keep cars on the track. Um, I mean, it, it creates less yellows. Uh, that makes everybody happy. Less blast, black flags, red flags. Uh, you know, less. If those valve covers came off, there would have been oil on the track. Everybody would have uh, not been happy about that for the rest of the weekend. Um, it keeps you out of the hospitals. It, it keeps your <laughs> your car from coming back on a wrecker. Um, I have not been doing this long. I'm new, only a couple years in. Um, I pick up a, a lot of good things from the great guys at the VD, VSCDA Formula V group. Um, other things like putting silicone on positive terminals. It keeps the nuts from coming off, creating electrical issues along with um, shorting something out. Um, 
putting a hose clamp on the upper side of the ignition coil to prevent it from falling out of the mount clamp, killing the engine. Uh, the rear drums uh, tend to crack around the uh, little extra hole they have on the on the rear drums, and checking those uh, that is a uh, a point of failure on these in these cars. Um, I'd encourage everybody uh, who has a good little tip, uh, easy thing for people to do to keep their car on the track, um, sharing it with us. I, I know the best way to pick this stuff is up is at the track, uh, looking at other guys' cars and, and just talking with them. Uh, but I, I thought I'd put this out there because uh, the Van Camps personally saved me uh, two race weekends uh, this last summer uh, just with these two simple little things on, on two consecutive race weekends. So um, i hoping I can help somebody out down the line. Um, if, if you want to leave a comment with other uh, little tricks in your Formula V to keep it on track. I'm sure others would appreciate it. Thanks for watching.